where my canoe is, this end is setting on the uh, top of Observatory Mountain. So now, remember what we said about parking the needle in the, in the barn? Well, look, the needle is still pointing north. The only thing that's changed is my compass now is pointing west. So what we gotta do now is you take this dial and you turn this dial, hold the compass down, and you turn this dial until the compass, until that red part of the, of the needle is back in the bushcraft shelter. And once it's in the bushcraft shelter, you will have a degree over here. And then you, at this point, now you know, it, it's. I'll take it up, you can see it. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But anyways, from my canoe to the top of Observatory Mountain has a degree of 260 degrees. Maybe you can see that, I'm not sure. But see that, 260 degrees? So now, you can put this up to your neck. Don't touch this. At this point, you got 260 degrees. That's when I would write this down on a piece of paper. 260 degrees. From Richardson Lake to Observatory Mountain. You know that. You're not going to forget it. Now you have it wrote down. So now, like I said, don't touch the bond now. Now what you want to do now is you want to take this and pull it out straight in front of you. And then you turn with it. And see, now once that's in the... Whoops. <laughs> Let me get over here. Hard to keep everything in for you guys. <laughs> so now, you hold this compass out in front of you. Roughly about arm's length. Keep it away from knives and axes and guns and everything else. Now you're going to turn with the compass. Your whole body square off to the compass. I'm going to have to only turn my hands because I'll, I'll lose camera view. But take your whole body. Square it with your two shoulders so that it's straight out in front of you. And then turn with the compass, your whole body, until that needle is back in the bushcraft shelter. And once it's in the bushcraft shelter, now look, this compass, you see the arrows on this compass? They're pointing this way. So now you follow them arrows, keeping that compass at 260 degrees and keeping this in the barn. Now you'll follow that until you end up on the top of Observatory Mountain. Now the best way to do this, and the easiest way, is to hold your compass up at 260 degrees straight ahead of you and look ahead. Find a rock, find a tree that's exactly 260 degrees in front of you. When you reach that point that you can see, take out your compass again, take another 260 degree reading, pick out another big tree or a rock or a stump, walk your way to it, and do the same thing until you get to the top of Observatory Mountain. All right, now, we've made it to the top of Observatory Mountain. Now, actually, you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to draw a line. You can draw a line between your campsite, and you can draw a line over to, over to where you want. Here, in this case, I want to hike over to, to uh, Black Cove. You see that? So now what we need, now we got to have this degree right here. Right now, we know that this is 260 degrees. So now what we need is we need this. So again... Take it once you've reached once you have reached the top of Observatory Mountain. Now you need a new baron. So again, you put your compass up there on the red line. And see the compass is pointing the direction that you need. So again, we need to take and turn the dial, putting the red needle in the bushcraft shelter. There, now we're good to go. Now our reading is 280 degrees. 
I'm going to write it on the map. And over here, I'm going to write it on a piece of paper. Now we're going to have 280 degrees from Observatory Mountain to Black Brook Cove. Same deal. So you're going to, we got it, we got it around our neck. Hold the compass, hold it out straight from your shoulders. Turn your whole body until that needle is back in the bushcraft shelter. And do the same thing all the way over to Black Cove. Now, here's another thing to, that really, as far as, uh, like, it's, it's easier to find a big thing. Like, this is a big lake over here. This is a narrow point. If you're missing any of your barren points as you come along, keep in mind, this point will be a little bit harder to find than if you were trying to find, say, this point. See, you've got all kinds of water. You've got one, two, three, four. You have four kilometers in here that you can be in error and still make it over to the lake and then hike down the side of the lake to where your point is. But just keep that in mind, like say a road. Say this dotted line right here was a road. When you're out there hunting or you're out there fishing and you've looked at this map ahead of time, you know that there's a road right here and you know there's a lake right here. So if you get twisted out here, if you come to that road, now you know exactly where you are. If you come to that lake, you know where you are. But if you haven't taken the time to look at a map, if you haven't taken the time to look at a map, you don't know that road exists. So when you come to that road, you have no idea where you are. But if you've taken the time to look at a map ahead of time, now you've got a really good idea on uh, where you're headed. Up in the right hand corner, I'll put some links to other videos that are on my channel that are bushcraft uh, survival skills that I think go along with this map and compass course uh, put out by East Grand Woodsman. And they also at the very end of this video, I will have some recommendations for self-reliant uh, videos that are in my channel that I believe that you'll find very interesting as well as uh, help you improve your skills out in the raw wilderness because not all uh, hiking and all that stuff is done on trails that are painted. Uh, hit the subscribe button. You'll see a round circle back there. I'm standing next to a black bear. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, uh, click that black bear. Uh, click one of those uh, them recommendations, and I will see you in the next video.